In this video, you will learn about a very interesting genus of primates. They live in large flocks and represent a formidable force in the savanna. They have a complex social structure with tight governance and a punishment system. And yes they steal children. Now you will see the life of baboons. Put your like and subscribe to the channel faster, because the baboon may not like it. It was, indeed, a troop of very formidable baboons of the dog-faced species. Exactly like that in a novel Five Weeks in a Balloon, Jules Verne described a meeting with baboons. And hardly anyone would argue with him. Baboons are often called dog-headed monkeys. Baboons are easy to distinguish from other primate species. They have a powerful jaw, close together eyes, and thick hair. But if it didn't work out, then they have another feature. This is their butt, there is no hair on it. But in most species, pronounced sciatic calluses are present on it. Baboons include five types. Baboon guinea. The Hamadryas baboon. Yellow baboon. Anubis baboon and the largest bear baboon. They are quite large monkeys, which can measure up to 43 inches in length and weigh up to 66 pounds. All primate species have well-developed canines, especially males. Baboons move exclusively on four legs. Their long tail is never used for grasping purposes. But their social structure and lifestyle are much more interesting. In a simple family of baboons, as a rule, there will be one male and several females with cubs of different ages. Such families unite into clans of up to 100 individuals. And to run such a society requires a rigid social structure. At the head is always a group of several alpha males enjoying unquestioning authority. Their power is almost limitless and they can do absolutely whatever they want. A lot of food females to choose from and a whole retinue of servants. It's all for the alpha males. They, in turn, maintain order in the group and punish the guilty. And they do it very cruelly, using their fangs. Often traces of such punishments remain for life. For example, a male may bite a female strongly on the neck at the slightest disobedience. This happens quite often because these are very aggressive and quick-tempered monkeys. Their behavior is unpredictable from which other males who are below the rank suffer. With baboons, everyone always knows their place. They know who can torture them and they know whom they can torture. But if danger approaches, then the alpha males are the first to defend the clan. The rest at this time can go to a safe distance. Baboons fight desperately and mercilessly, they work together. This justifies the privilege of alpha males in society. But they can solve issues in society not only by fights. The thing is that during aggression, baboons produce a hormone that enhances sexual arousal. So sometimes primates prefer to resolve the conflict in a different way. As for the breeding period, baboons don't have it. They can mate whenever they want and with whoever they want. Of course in compliance with the chain of command. And the future father doesn't abandon pregnant females. The male is constantly nearby helping to care for the body and sharing his food. And after birth, he also continues to care for his offspring, keeping in touch with them. As a rule, up to seven years, old baboons have one female. After nine years, their own harem is formed. And after 15 years, the females gradually leave the males, leaving for the younger ones. Perhaps this is why older male baboons become extremely aggressive and unpredictable in behavior. The most disenfranchised baboons quite often move from one clan to another. And in order to stay there, they begin to care for adult females without children. Recognition by such a female allows the male to remain in the new group and further grow in social status. Such combing has a name, grooming. And it plays an important role in fostering connections within the community. 
With long and dexterous fingers, the monkey masterfully catches fleas and this is one of the ways to show attention to a partner. Baboons eat almost anything they can find. These can be fruits of trees, plant roots, berries, and green grass. In general, they are very self-confident behave with other savanna neighbors. Ungulates try to graze next to monkeys because they detect predators much earlier and raise a serious cry. But you should not expect help from them, because at the slightest opportunity the baboon will try to catch the cubs of antelope. They attack in a group. Attacking from all sides and trying to create panic, a young individual is an excellent target that is not able to escape and the mother will no longer be able to recapture her cub from the monkey. Baboons from their youth show interest in antelopes. First as a game and then as food. But still, antelopes try not to go far from the primates during the watering hole. Baboons are very resourceful and cunning in hunting. He can hide in the bushes and then rush to attack the flamingos. Their speed is not very high, about 12 miles per hour. But because of the suddenness, the baboon can catch the bird. He continues in pursuit ashore, then he jumps up and grabs his prey in the air. Here baboons catch ducklings and it will not be difficult for them because the territory is closed and there is nowhere to hide. Baboons are not afraid of wild dogs that walk in packs. But they are afraid to come close to such anubis sitting on the road. Wild dogs can appreciate the baboon's surprise left on the road. But as soon as one of the primates catches up with the flock, they immediately rush in different directions. But baboons love dogs and often steal them, but not to eat. They usually steal stray dog puppies and carry them away. There they are fed, watered and even combed out a new pet. But baboons have a special purpose. Very often baboons feed on landfills and the dog becomes a guard and drives away other dogs when they try to interfere with the baboons. But the puppy never gets the status of the pack. It's just a pet that benefits and nothing more. But it's not just puppies that primates steal. For example, they never pass up the opportunity to steal a baby leopard. But not to tame and not even to eat. Just like that, they eliminate their enemies across the savanna. After all, if they do not do this, then in a few years this leopard will already kill baboon. For example, here a leopard noticed several primates far from the main flock and began to hunt. But the primates quickly discovered the predator, and now they can only run away. He comes out of the bushes with prey, and other baboons realize that it is too late for him to go to the defense. It is a very dexterous predator from which it is difficult to hide even on a tree. For example, here he is trying to catch a monkey in his natural environment on a tree. See how the leopard works masterfully. First, he jumps from tree to tree and then flies up with lightning speed, and in the jump intercepts the monkey. I can't help but show it one more time. So these are the worst enemies that constantly intersect with each other and everyone wants to attack each other. But when the whole flock of baboons is in place, the leopard will not attack them. Therefore, they easily drive the wild cat out of the watering hole. It is even easier to drive out an intruder from the tree, especially if it is an adult baboon. If we talk about a person, then they also do not respect. And here a primate in a jump knocks out a bag from a person and takes his share. He just takes what he needs. At the same time, if they do not like something, then baboons can easily stop the car and search it. So the guys are very arrogant and it will be very difficult to drive them out of their vehicle. Although some immediately understood how to deal with such impudent primates, and took a stick. With her, baboons immediately become more accommodating. Take this trick into service if you are going to Africa, write in the comments which animal you want to see in the review. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so and be sure to turn on the alert about new videos. See you later.